What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Before we get started, we are in the Drop the Anchor room here. If you don't know what that is, that is a clothing label that I own. And I've been thinking lately, I really want to do a, an AU Falcon build on the channel. I'm pretty sure a bunch of you guys want to see that as well. So, if you want that to happen, I need you guys to do something for me. Jump on the Drop the Anchor website, blow it up, use the code MikeLakeGang, get 15% off your entire order, free shipping over 150 bucks. We ship all over the world. We've got a bunch of new t-shirts out at the moment. The designs are freaking sick. Pineapples, drop the anchor stamp tee, a bunch of rad stuff. We've got shorts as well. We've got tank tops, sunglasses, everything. And we have a whole bunch more coming to the site. So if you guys want to see an AU Falcon build on this channel, jump on drop the anchor, use the code MikeLakeGang, blow it up and if we get enough orders using the code I will literally go out and buy an AU Falcon and we'll do the build on the channel so uh, I'll leave it in your hands. Anyway today we are working on the E36 as we have been for the past while. This thing has been absolutely ripping. Zero issues really and uh, I've been having a blast in it but today I'm doing a bunch of stuff to it. Uh, we're drifting on Friday at Keep It Reet Friday Night Drifts. As you can see the back of the diff cover is off, the axles are out. I'm doing a bunch of servicing stuff to it. And as you guys know, I've had a problem with axles over the past while braking. To mitigate that, I have raised the car a little bit. But what I'm also going to do, see up here, the solid subframe bushes. There's about 8 millimeters right there, at least, of uh, bush there. We're going to cut the tops off those and raise the subframe 8 mils, which will help the angle of the axle when the car is down on the ground significantly. So, actually, I think Kaz Engineering do sell offset bushes, but I couldn't find them anywhere else. Uh, so, I just decided we're going to just chop the top off our current bushes and it'll just raise the subframe up uh, about 8 millimeters, which is rad. But also, I've been doing a bunch of research into what axles that we can use in the E36. What axles are stronger, what axles are weaker, blah blah blah. So, so I thought I'd run you guys through uh, everything that I've found out so that you guys can make an informed decision if you need to, you know, chuck axles in your car. So here is the, what I thought was bigger axle uh, that we had in the car. And I've clean snapped two of these. Look at that right there. So that's where the axle goes into the CV joint, uh, this side. And you can see that they're hollow, these ones. And I've clean snapped it off. So, the ones that look thicker aren't actually stronger. So that one goes down on the ground. There's another one down there that I've snapped as well. So two of them are clean snapped. Now this one I have in the vise right here. This is the eBay axles. So you can get these for about $130 each on eBay, which is a fantastic price if they work. And they do work. I had these in the car for the last little while. I thought I broke them. Here's the casing right here, but what happened was so I had this on here, and it was in the car, and somehow the axle was pushing through the casing, made a hole in it, and the CV, it just pushed all of the guts out of it, because there was nothing holding it together. Um, so Damon and uh, myself ended up putting these back together at the track, and I put them in the car, and as you can see here, there is a slot in the diff ears, so, and that's where the, the axle was going into. I wouldn't have a clue why it was doing that. I had the 10mm axle spaces on, so I took those off. Uh, and I put a 22mm socket in here, and then put the axle back on so that the shaft literally couldn't go back into the diff. And I ran that for two track days, and I ran it without an issue. I've actually still got the other China axle here in the car. So they do work, the China axles. The good thing about them is that this shaft here is full solid metal so you can see it right here it's got a little divot there but that's uh it's not hollow in the center they're full solid so you'd expect that the shaft and it definitely is the shaft itself is stronger but the cv i think the casing because when we put them back together the ball bearings in the china cvs are slightly smaller so i think the cvs on the china axles are slightly weaker and as you can see here, I've got some play in this axle, and that's at both ends. Okay, now this axle's still good. I took it out, it was working out of the car, and I'll keep it as a spear, but that play is not something that you really want because it's like a death gap, right? If there's play, then when you kick the clutch, boom, it's got that shake. That's going to allow it to pretty much break at some point in the uh, CV. So here is a BMW CV. That's off... Uh, one of the axles that we snapped so I kept it I pushed the broken bit out and this CV is still good to go so what I'm going to do 
is we're gonna I've actually undone the circlip of this we should be able to pull this off now so this is gonna come off boom just like that this is the China one but the the shafts the splines on them are exactly the same so we should be able to theoretically just push this boom onto the shaft and now we have a solid shaft with the BMW CV that has pretty much zero play in it actually literally has zero play in it as you can see the grease is absolute trash in this one because it's so old but we'll re-grease it and that should create at least a stronger axle for us overall which is pretty freaking sick so we'll put the circlip back on there and then the back plate just goes back on these just literally tap off they're a press fit obviously we'll put the boot on as well and there we'll have a stronger axle which is cool now another thing sorry if i'm talking a lot but there's a, a lot of information to take in so this axle here and this is the cool thing right a friend of mine in europe tyrone he reached out and said the e46 passenger side axles fit into e36s medium case of course because we're running medium case so e46 have uh different length axles driver side and passenger side which is super weird but the diff's offset so I wanted to test that theory. I went to the wrecker and lo and behold, there was an E46 there, six cylinder one. The diff was already out of it and I literally just tapped this axle out. I've done a test fit with it and these, this axle fits into the E36, which is amazing. That just means that we have another option when we're breaking axles and we go to the wrecker to get axles out of this. Axle cost me $26 at the wreckers and there is an abundance of E46s still around, so that's really good news. The other part of the good news about that is, this isn't as old as an E36 axle because it's from a newer car, the E46, and this axle is super solid still, so really happy with that. So yeah, E46 passenger side fit into the E36. Also, E90 passenger side fits into the E36, so keep that in mind when you guys are wanting to go and grab axles and you can't find any medium case axles because they're getting so rare for the E36s because everyone's starting to buy them and smash them and do all this and that. So hopefully through that rambling you picked up some information that's gonna help you guys out. But right now what I'm gonna do is we're going to regrease a bunch of axles and put them all back together. So I'll sit you guys on time lapse and then we're gonna chuck them uh, back into the car. Yeah. One thing I forgot to mention about the E46 uh, passenger side axles. So they look thicker. But then as you see here, they step down to the normal size. And I believe that they're exactly the same strength as uh, the E36 medium case ones. But actually I also think just from the weight, definitely actually, definitely these are hollow as well. So, so the E46 ones, it'll be interesting to see whether they break in the same place as the hollow E36 ones, or whether they hold up to a beating. But, uh, that's why we're going to test them out. This is why I do things for you guys, so that you don't have to make the same uh, mistakes that I do, but you. I just got a definitive answer that yes, these are hollow. And the reason I know that they are is because if I do this, that's air coming out at that end, which means it's going through the axle and out the other end. So they are hollow. So unsure whether they'll be very strong, but we're going to find out. Boom town, suss that out. We are loaded with axles. Hopefully this is all the axles we'll need for this year, fingers crossed. So two of these will go in the car, I'll pick the best two, and then we'll have three spares, freaking stoked, all greased up, cleaned up, good to go. So fingers crossed that gets us through. So now we're prepping the rest of the car. We'll chuck those axles in in a bit, but first I've got a new bumper. It's on the car. It was the miss missing piece of the puzzle. And I've got another roll of our green vinyl wrap so i'm going to go ahead quickly wrap the bumper because i'm pumped about that i've also chucked on another set of flares uh still the same ones that we had before but i rubbed through those flares on the last track day which uh just looks silly really so i love my cars looking good so so what i did was i put a new one on and i uh heated it up with a heat gun and pretty much rolled it like you would roll a metal guard uh on a car so I pumped it out and it actually worked out pretty well. So I'm kind of stoked about that. So I wrapped that and chucked the uh, wrap on and it looks sick. So very pumped about that because I just want the car to look complete uh, on Friday night, especially in front of the big crowds. You always want the car looking perfect. So we'll go ahead, wrap this rear bumper and then we'll chuck these uh, axles in, put some oil and stuff in and kind of see where we get to with the car. 
Yeah. Noise, suss that out. Look at that, our bump is freaking green now. Stoked. But the finishing touches and the things that are always the most satisfying, these bad boys. So I gave them a quick look at matte black off camera. I don't even know which way around these go. I'm pretty sure they go like this. Boom. Bang them in. Bit of hard love. Boom! Oh, that's nice. Hey, that's a real nice. Love that. All right, skipping forward a little bit, my camera ran out of battery, but the axles are in, diffs back together, fresh oil in the diff. So for comparison reasons, we're running the E46 axle on the right, that's the hollow one, but it's uh, in better, you know, newer, so technically should be better. And then we're running the E36 medium case axle on the left, that's the solid axle. In good condition once again and uh it's gonna be fun to see which one you know holds up the best and which one breaks first hopefully none of them break tonight because we're going drifting other than that we're pretty much finished underneath can't wait to see the car on the ground still got to wrap that flare so we'll bring the car down chuck some oil into the engine and uh kind of see where we get to i think these are freaking clean as well She is all clean and ready to go. I'm so freaking pumped, man. Trying a different wheel set up at the moment just to see what it looks like. Unsure about it. T37 look. Got the bronze on the front, silver on the back. 18, 9.5 on front, 17, 9.5 on the rear. But god damn, look at this, man. Looks so good with a nice wash, fresh bumper on. Woo! See how long that lasts tonight. We are on our way to Friday Night Drifts with Keep It Reet. So tonight I'm doing Ride With The Pro, that means pro, um, obviously not actually a pro driver, but basically we take people for passenger rides. A lot of them have never been in a drift car before. It's a lot of fun. And you make a little bit of money on the side as well. So that's always a good time. And uh, it's just a nice way to drift and also make a little bit of money back uh, on top, you know how it is. But we are also running the drop the anchor stall while we are here as well, so it's just going to be a really good night. The weather is perfect, there's going to be a bunch of people there. The E36 is looking fantastic and uh, I just can't wait to drive it. So without further ado, let's uh, make our way there. Yew.
take it easy or? No. Sure it is. at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I think uh, one of our wheels came off or something. Oh, the tire came off. <laughs> <laughs> And that is it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry I didn't really get to film a lot at the event, but uh, my GoPro mucked up with some of the footage. And it's really hard to film uh, when you're doing Rub of the Pro, because you're literally constantly taking people for laps. I did not stop driving all night, apart from when we snapped that coilover, which was coming off the bank down onto the flat. Uh, that Neo Max silver coilovers that I bought off a friend, and it turns out that they'd been welded. Uh, previously um, not very well by the looks of things and they snapped in that spot we got back out on track in about 15 minutes thanks to Nathan Dundevik and his little arc welder that he had at the track I honestly thought my night was done for which would have been fine because we'd done a bunch of driving anyway but then uh, Nathan came in clutch with the arc welder chucked on three pairs of sunnies welded it up chucked it back in the car and got back out there for a bunch more laps it was so freaking good all up I think I took about 14 passengers two laps per passenger we did a bunch of laps, fried some tyres, the car ran absolutely perfectly the whole night and uh, the car's good to go. I didn't snap one axle, so that's fantastic because usually on that layout we uh, tend to snap axles going up the bank, so super pumped on that, car's awesome. Um, I've got a couple of things to do to the car. Jason from Keep It Read informed me that Battle Royale, uh, the competition, is coming up on the 26th of February at Calder Park. I didn't know that, so <laughs> we've got to get the car ready. I'm going to get it retuned. We're going to put a little bit more boost into this current motor, probably get about 280 kilowatts out of it. You guys will see the video coming up soon. Uh, do a bit of maintenance and we're gonna hit that event hard, but thanks so much to Kiva Reap for putting on a fantastic event There were thousands of people there. It's freaking insane Thanks so much for anyone who came up and said hello throughout the night had a chat jumped in the car for a ride Honestly, it's mind-blowing meeting all of you guys and uh, and all the love that everyone gave to the E36 It's just so freaking cool. So thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video I'll see you in the next one. We were probably putting in some work finally on the 280 ZX. I cannot wait, but uh, thank you guys. I'll see you then. You Peace